Right now we're looking at four principal samples of the World Trade Center dust. We all saw these huge dust clouds as the buildings came down. What's really important then is what's in the dust because that tells us where, what happened during the collapse. Early on I saw these uh, chips, the red chips and uh, so several months ago I decided we ought to take a closer look and it was uh, quite remarkable. We're still studying that and now in at least three different laboratories studying these red chips. They do have the chemical composition of thermite. We use a magnet to extract the iron-rich fraction. And that's where we see these red chips in abundance. They're rich in iron. And also the spheres, uh, iron, aluminum, oxygen spheres, uh, very common in the dust. I've reproduced those uh, spheres that we see in the dust, actually with commercial thermite. Ready? Yep. So as molten iron is sprayed into the air from the thermite reaction, it forms into a sphere roughly due to surface tension, and those solidify in the air. And so that, uh, all that information is preserved in the dust. And we then uh, look at the dust and are learning a great deal about what happened on 9-11 from these examinations. 